Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew Smirsek with Combat Train. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up our Velcro holster holder inside of our EDC fanny pack. Now we're going to be doing more videos on the fanny pack about uh, the draw stroke, what guns fit in it, different ways to set it up, stuff like that. Um, but it all starts with properly uh, putting in the holster. Uh, now this is an item that's sold separately. It comes with a fanny pack when you buy it. So you don't have to buy the fanny pack and this. This comes with it. But you can buy it separately as well in case you got like a, you know, a bag that has uh, soft Velcro, the, the loop side, and you want to put a holster in there or, you know, wherever you want to put it, this can hold it. Now these are meant to be used uh, with inner waistband holsters. So most people already know, but let's go over it real quick. Inner waistband holsters are the type that go inside the pants and then attach to the belt. Outer waistband go outside the pants, like this one, or uh, like you can see, this is the front of the holster, on the back of the holster are these loops. That's outer waistband. So inner waistband holsters have the clips or the soft loops on the front, but you don't want to necessarily get like a super wide one. Like this is the, I think it's Phalanx Defense, one of the universal holsters. I just got it as an emergency one for class in case someone needs it. Um, but we'll talk about holsters in a different video. Uh, you don't necessarily want a super wide one, uh, one that's a little bit more narrow. And this one right here, two pieces of Kydex bolted, to, or um, excuse me, riveted together. <clears throat> and then this one is one piece of Kydex that's folded over. Um, that's more what we're going for, a little bit more narrow uh, to be able to fit inside the holster holder. Now, one of the re big reasons why we want it to be inner waistband uh, isn't just the size, but it's also the fact that these clips are going to go um, on the scuba webbing portion of the holster holder. So now we're gonna put one in and see how to do that. Okay guys, first thing we gotta do is uh, we gotta size this to the holster so that when we slide the holster in, it slides in very tightly. Like we wanna be forcing the holster in a little bit. Now, with this one, it's wider back here than it is down here, but we can still get a good estimate of how far we need to bring it over. The soft loop, as in the soft section of the Velcro, put that down first, okay? Then bring the hook over it all right, now we're gonna try to force it in. We want it, we want it so that we have to like really uh, shove it in and it doesn't just go in easily because if it goes in easily, it can also come out. All right, now, that's, that's just about right. Yep, that's good right there. Then you gotta make sure that the clips are over the scuba webbing. Now this is a 1.5 inch uh, scuba webbing section also, so it should work with the majority of holsters out there, but keep that in mind, that's 1.5 inch. Now, pull on it, make sure it's good. I could probably go a little bit tighter, but let's just keep the video going. Now, next thing I wanna check, of course, make sure your gun's clear. That does not mean dry fire it. Uh, next thing I wanna check is that when I put the gun in, I can get a full grip, okay? Because one thing is different holsters with like different cans on them. Sometimes when you try to get a, a full grip on it, your knuckle will be uh, blocked right here by the webbing. So depending on the holster you got, just make sure that you can get a full grip on it. All right, now, um, again, <laughs> inner waistband holsters that have clips or soft loop or something. I'm not talking about sticky holsters or, um, hybrid holsters or any of that nonsense, okay? A full Kydex holster, Kydex on both sides, okay? Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, show you how to put it inside the fanny pack. All right, now that we have the Velcro holster holder mounted with the holster inside, we're going to fit it to the fanny pack. Um, again, when we're doing this, be super safe. No ammunition in the room, no ammunition on your body, uh, no ammunition in the fanny pack, and uh, make sure that you're pistol is clear. So, including the gun, again, make sure there's no mag in it. Lock slide back, check the chamber, you can feel. Look in the mag well, make sure the mag well is empty, and then check in the chamber for an empty chamber again. All right, we do not need to dry fire when we clear the gun, and we don't need to dry fire while we're doing this. Also, whichever direction you're gonna be pointing your pistol, make sure that's a safe direction, where if a round were to go off, it's 
would not harm anyone the safest direction possible and also it's better if that direction is bulletproof maybe put up your armor or something all right now i'm gonna put the fan pack on again there's no ammo on the fan pack all right um we just want to take these precautions just be safe it's very easy to get distracted carried away um and for mistakes to be made but now i'm gonna open it up all the way and i'm gonna keep my hand uh, on this side of the velcro as i slide it in so again on this we have the the scratchy velcro the hook on the back and then loop on the inside of the fanny pack i'm gonna keep my hand right there so i can slide it in position it kind of the angle i want i'm looking to have it uh pointed more straight down try to center it a little bit okay once I got in a good spot, yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, now um, I'm gonna make more videos about the draw stroke to use with the fanny pack, but we wanna test at least getting a positive grip and being able to draw it. Now, um, I'm not gonna go over how to do every draw stroke in here. Uh, that'll be a separate video. All right, now, once I've got it in there, I'm gonna cover it back up. All right, then do a two-hand draw. Good. Reholstering, I should be able to keep my head up. Now, when we set it up to, uh, if you've got a gun inside the fanny pack, you probably don't want to put anything else inside that main pocket, okay? We don't want anything getting caught in the trigger when we're putting the gun away because it doesn't open up all the way, all right? It just has that top lid that we're breaking through. Now, <clears throat> one hand draw. Good. We'll do that kind of covert ready where I cover it up. Good. All right, so I was able to get my hand on the gun without drawing it out, without moving around the Velcro or anything. All right. Now I'll draw it out. Good. All right. Now we'll do a left hand draw. Good. All right, so uh, we'll show you what it looks like inside the fan pack like that. But we know it's good. Now, <clears throat> you see the, the back lid can end up um, covering up over the pistol a little bit. But when you go in and you get a hand on the gun, it breaks out of the way. Or you can just put your thumb on the back of the slide like that, okay? But if you do go in and you're not on the back of the slide, it will clear the back lid out of the way. Now, looking at it, I've got it. There's a Glock 19 Gen 5 in there. It's pretty much just centered up, okay? And then when I close it, move up on the sides, you see from behind, nothing is showing, okay? So, that's it guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you everyone who's already bought the fan pack. Seriously, it means a ton to me. Uh, thank you everyone who's been buying the slings. Thank you for subscribing. Um, please comment below. Please uh, share this video. Um, if there's any questions you have about the fan pack, any um, videos you want made, uh, please let us know. We plan on doing one about uh, what size guns fit, um, different ways to set it up, and um, then we'll get some, some range footage with it too and um also should be having a uh, glock 44 review coming up and uh, you'll see this in there um during some of the drills so thank you for watching keep fighting communism